Hey, uh, this is Jay again with uh, Heavenly Harvest. Um, we build hydroponic systems, uh, deep water culture systems, uh, drip irrigation, ebb and flow, and also aeroponic systems. Uh, I got an email, a gentleman uh, uh, didn't, well, I guess didn't understand what uh, aerating or what it's all about, what it means. I tried to explain it through email, it didn't work, so I'm putting this to, uh, video for putting it together for him. His name's Dan. So Dan, here it is. I just uh, built this little contraption just to show you. Uh, I got a one gallon water jug, you know, small, maybe 15 gallon uh, air pump hose quarter inch hose and if you can see in there two air stones with the t-connect put a little hole here drill the hole put water in it i didn't fill it all the way to the top with water but normally you'll want your roots the bottom of your net pot in water and as the plant gets older start dropping the water a bit depending on what you're growing um, but I have the I have it plugged up so let me just push this down in the water here as you can see it's putting air bubbles in the water which is ox oxygenating the water or aerating the water Roots need oxygen and nutrients and water. They don't need soil. Soil is just a growing medium. So that's what um, aeration or oxygenating water is all about. Hope this was uh, in, uh, informative. As a matter of fact, what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to take a cutting have a one inch cube here it's already wet I'm gonna, after I fill this all the way to the top here with water let me turn around after I fill it all the way to the top with water I'll take this one inch cube I don't know if you can see this little hole here but I'm gonna put a maybe a clone a clipping a cutting here and just for fun Put it there. If this wasn't already in here, I put this in there. Fill it to the top and see what happens. If you have any questions, please uh, email me, and I'll try to answer any questions. Or if you need a system built, any kind of system. Um, Build all kinds of systems. We're going to do a drip irrigation for a gentleman out of this one here. Out of something like this one, rather. And there's two holes on the end here. One I have capped off. And uh, you know, this is my drain. Or I check my water level with it. What I'm going to do is I'm going to run the drain to down to a reservoir to be oxygenated like that maybe uh, I don't know 10 gallon 15 gallon I don't know 5 gallon I don't know yet run this to a uh, nutrient reservoir as my overflow and then this side here I'm going to put a a water submersible water pump not an air pump like this one but one that pumps water put a water pump inside the a water submersible water pump inside the reservoir and pump and run me a hose here and pump water into here into drippers then I'm going to put maybe six drippers in this, this you know along the whole thing six drippers six I'm going to use some six inch rock wool put six plants in it I hope maybe the, you know the same type maybe all tomatoes or all peppers a little easier that way nutrient wise and uh, I'm going to build that system maybe today, and maybe after I get it finished, I'll do another video. 
So thanks a lot for stopping by, and uh, hope you enjoy what you what you've seen here. And if you need a system like this one here, five chamber, or a system like this one, eight chamber, which are already sold by the way.